What's up guys, I'm Rasim from RaspberryTech.com and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to remotely access your Raspberry Pi. Yes, you can remotely access your Raspberry Pi using Windows. Now, if you guys have been frustrated and you're tired of uh, connecting a monitor and a mouse to your Raspberry Pi and you just want to remotely access your Raspberry Pi using uh, a Windows PC, you can do so. The two programs we're going to use is uh, Putty and Tight VNC Server. Now, before we can get started, make sure you connect your Raspberry Pi to your internet, meaning connect that ethernet cable to the Raspberry Pi the other end to your router. And whichever computer you're using to access the Raspberry Pi has to be connected to that same internet. As long as that's good, you're good to go. Now, the first thing we need to do is download a program called Putty. Now, I'm going to open up our browser here or open up your browser. Navigate to this URL here. It's www.putty.org. And under Putty, or sorry, download Putty, click on this link here. Scroll down, I'm going to download the first one here uh, for Windows x86 uh, processors. Click on this one here. Should start the download. Once the download is finished, right click the, the file or first show in folder wherever your uh, file is. Right click the file and uh, pin it to taskbar. This is, makes it easier for you to open up. So it just pins it right here to the taskbar. As you can see, this is putty. I'm going to minimize the web browser. So all you have to do is click on this here and it should start PuTTY. And what PuTTY is uh, waiting for is an IP address of your Raspberry Pi. Now I'll show you how to find the, the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. It's pretty simple. Open up command prompt to do that. You could type in CMD in search. I'm sorry, click here, type in CMD in the search and it should open up the command prompt. Now by default, all Raspberry Pi's IP addresses, or sorry, names are Raspberry Pi. Their network names should be Raspberry Pi unless you change it. So all you have to do is ping, type in P-I-N-G, hit space, then type in Raspberry Pi. If everything works correctly, then you, this is what you see here. It's going to ping and replies, and it'll give you the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. It says ping statistics 4, and this is the IP address of your Raspberry, Raspberry Pi here. My IP address of my Raspberry Pi is 192.168.1.163. Yours could be different. Just remember yours. And I'm going to minimize this. Now all we have to do is type in your IP address of your Raspberry Pi. Again, mine says 192.168.1.163. Yours is different. Just type in yours. I'm going to hit open here. Click on yes. And it's asking for a login, login uh, username. Your username by default is pi, P-I, hit enter. And the password is raspberry, R-A-S-P-B-E-R-R-Y, hit enter. All right, so now we've officially logged into our Raspberry Pi's uh, terminal. So if all you want to do is access this terminal here and work with the terminal, then uh, you, you're good to go. And you could do all the stuff that you would in a normal terminal, like a list, you know, list directories, change directory. This is the full-blown terminal. You're accessing your Raspberry Pi's full-blown terminal here. And that's pretty much it for accessing the terminal using PuTTY. We're also going to use this for our second part too. So I'm going to minimize this here. Now we're going to open up our browser and we're going to navigate to this second URL here. It's www.tightvnc.com forward slash download.php. The link will be in the description. Once you navigate to this page, click on uh, the installer here, or sorry, click on downloads, or, or if you're not at this downloads page, click on installer for Windows 64. Click on it, download should start. Mine's just started on the bottom here. Give it about 30 seconds to finish downloading. Once it's finished downloading, click on the file so it starts the installation process. So accept, next, click on typical, next, next, install, yes, keep going through the process and uh, requires password and I'm just gonna click on uh, let's type in a password let's type in T-I-G-H-T-V-N-C type VNC T-I-G-H-T-V-N-C I'm gonna click on this bottom one here and then I'm also gonna do the same thing T-I-G-H-T-V-N-C T-I-G-H-T-V-N-C okay you, you can type in whichever password you want you just got to remember it i'm typing in tight vnc just so uh it's easier for you guys to follow along but type in whichever password you want just just remember it type in okay then click on finished 
Now we finished installing the program and on our Windows side. Now we have to minimize this. Open up PuTTY again. While, while PuTTY is open, log into uh, PuTTY, access your Raspberry Pi like I showed you. Now we're going to install Tight VNC server onto our Raspberry Pi. Open up your browser again, minimize it. I'm just going to put this on the side here, put this one on the other side over here. Navigate to this URL here. It's going to be in the description as well. It's www.raspberrypi.org forward slash documentation forward slash remote hyphen access forward slash VNC forward slash. Link will be in the description as well. Copy this first line of code here, sudo apt-get install tight VNC server, copy it. And uh, you can paste it onto your terminal. I'm sorry, let's close this here. Open up our putty. Right, so putty has to be open. Sorry, I had a terminal open. So all you have to do is paste this code onto our uh, onto putty, and to do that, right click on on the line, and it should paste it automatically. Then hit enter. Now it's going to start downloading tight VNC server and installing it. Click on yes or Y, hit, hit enter. Give it about a minute or so to finish downloading. All right, now when, once that's finished, we're going to copy the second line of code here. It actually starts up the program. So it's tight VNC server. Type in tight VNC server. I'm just going to copy this, paste it onto here, hit enter. Give it about a couple of seconds to load. When you first start this, it's going to require you to uh, create a password. And you need to remember this password. So I'm going to just type in the same password I used for uh, the previous step. I'm going to type in T-I-G-H-T-V-N-C, hit enter. We're gonna verify, so T, I, G, H, T, V, N, C, hit enter again. Type in Y, hit enter. Type in another password, so I'm gonna type in again the same password, T, I, G, H, T, V, N, C, hit enter. Uh, again, to confirm it, type it again, T, I, G, H, T, V, N, C, hit enter again. We got to make sure we remember it. All right, so now it, it's, it saved our password and it started up the tight VNC server, as you can see here. This is what it looks like when it starts. And this is what we have to remember. We have to remember this here. This is our host name, this part here. And our host name is R-A-S-P-B-E-R-R-Y-P-I colon one. Yours could be completely different. Just remember yours. I'm gonna copy this here. All right, every time before we actually start type VNC server on our desktop, we have to start it up on our Raspberry Pi. Again, you have to, before anything, you have to open up PuTTY and uh, type in type VNC server, All right? T-I-G-H-T-V-N-C-S-E-R-V-E-R, -E -E hit enter, and it should start the server. Once the server started, you just uh, copy or remember the host name here. Mine says Raspberry Pi colon two, yours could be different, just remember it. Minimize PuTTY, or you could even close PuTTY. So I'm gonna close PuTTY here. And it basically started the server uh, in the background. So so when now when we open up uh, type VNC server, navigate to type VNC server, the program we just downloaded, and type in your, uh, your remote host. Again, it's the same remote host that uh, we just saw. Yours could be different, mine's was Raspberry Pi colon two, right? Mine was Raspberry Pi colon two. You type in yours, hit connect. Now type in the password that we just created when we installed VNC server on a Raspberry Pi. Um, I, mine was uh, T I G H T V N C. Remember, yours could be completely different, depends on whatever you created. Hit OK, and bam. It starts up our graphical user interface. So now we're, we can access our Raspberry Pi the normal way. And you have all access to all the program files, everything you would normally have with uh, Raspbian. You're just remotely accessing it with your desktop. You can minimize everything. You could shrink this here, right? You can make it smaller, you can put it on the side. You can make it bigger, you can make it full screen, whatever you want to do. Again, this is full blown Raspbian right here. And we have access to terminal. If you just want to access your Raspberry Pi's graphical user interface, this is the way to do it. It's pretty simple. And you have all the functionality you would normally have. And you can keep it open in the background. Now, again, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start this up from the beginning. I'm going to close this here. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close PuTTY. First thing before you can start tight VNC uh, server on your desktop, again, open up PuTTY. 
then we're going to type in the IP address of our Raspberry Pi. Again, I, you know yours, mine's is 192.168.1.163. Yours is different. Hit open. It's going to ask you for a login. The login username is pi, P-I, hit enter. And the password is raspberry, R-A-S-P-B-E-R-R-Y, hit enter. Now we have to start the type VNC server. To do that, all you have to do is type, type in type VNC server. So T-I-G-H-T VNC S-E-R-V-E-R. -E hit enter. It starts the type VNC server. Uh, remember the the host name here. Now the host name is Raspberry Pi hyphen three. You have to remember it. You can copy it, but just remember it. I'm sorry, Raspberry Pi colon three, not hyphen. <laughs> Now it's Raspberry Pi colon three. Whatever it is, just remember it. You can close Putty. You don't have to have it open. Just close it, right? Open up uh, Type BNC server. Good, good thing to do is uh, to, to uh, pin it to the taskbar. You can do that just by clicking, right-clicking the program file, and going on more, and just click on pin to taskbar. So you have it o over here. So you don't have to go to start and look for it. So open up Type BNC server. Change the host name. Now it's uh, Raspberry Pi colon three. Hit connect. Type in the password, uh, the one you created. My, again, I created T I G H T V N C. Hit OK, and bam, it starts uh, up our graphical user interface. Again, we're accessing the Raspberry Pi like we would if we had a uh, monitor, keyboard, and all that stuff connected to it. So that's pretty much it. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossmerTech.com, and thank you for watching.